What's going on, my fellow collectors? This is Figure Reviews 411 coming back at you again with another figure review video. And today we are looking at the new G.I. Joe Classified Series Sergeant Slaughter. Man, is he a surprising, surprising figurine. Now, I will note right away what you see strapped to him. All these little strappy things, that is not what he came with. These are the fun things about Joe that you can swap out pieces, well at least mostly their accessories, in hands at times, just to build kind of your own figure. Not too bad. I like that. It's fun to do. Now, he is way bigger than I anticipated when he was first announced. I was like in between of, ah, oh, not really wanting to get him. Because Valiverse already did a really great job on his figurine. Two variants to him. Which they both did really well on it. They didn't get so much the articulation that I wanted on him on the Valiverse figures. But I was really in shock though. This guy is almost like 7 inches tall. Okay. So really quick. This is what he looks like next to the SH Figure Arts newest um gohan obviously he's gonna be short here he is next to a fellow gi joe classifies bigger snake eyes so that's also not too bad yeah that's not bad at all he he basically towers close to the roadblock and the gung-ho i i didn't think he was gonna be that big but he is huge very, very cool. Um, I'm not sure if he's made as an ultimate figures. Or, I don't know why he's about 30 something dollars worth. Don't see the reason why to that. So, anyways. Here's the packaging. He comes with all those hands. Uh, yeah, the accessories, I don't, I don't think they're really a strong representation or anything cool like that. It'd have been great if he came with, I don't know, a cigar. <laughs> uh, or a jacket, you know, something like that. I don't know why they're charging him like the Boba Fett. They charge that one Boba Fett about 30 something dollars too. And it's just, I don't know. I don't know if they're counting these guys as deluxe figures now. It's insane. I'm trying to show off his accessories now. Let me try to open that up for you. Yeah. All right, hang on. Yeah, so here's all his accessories out of this little baggie here. They're all coming bagged in that now. And uh yeah, they're they're not too bad. You know, you got a bunch of hands. That's cool. I still don't think it's worth the $30 price range though. Okay, we've got figures with all these many accessories that didn't go for that much. Yeah, it looks cool. This is from Stalker, Sergeant Stalker. Uh, this is from Iron Knife and Sergeant Stalker right here. I think he looks way cooler with this. If he would have came out looking like this, then I'd be thinking, well, I guess he could be worth 30 something dollars. Still a very great figure. Articulation still really nice. <laughs> I get wrestling vibes when I mess with this guy. He's, just, he's as big as a wrestler, actually, now that I'm thinking about it. Nice articulation. The um, butterfly joint doesn't go anywhere as much. It goes back and forth a tiny bit. It goes forward that much. Back way further. You could get splits out of him. And you get the pinless joints at the knees. So that's a double joints. If I could get that bented. Yep, that's it. Not bad, not bad. Swivel at the lower calf. You get your typical um, up and down on the foot. You do get a nice rocker. Thigh cuts. You do get a drop down. I'm not too sure about it though. That's kind of weird. I'm not I'm not too sure about that. You may get it. You may not. Oh yeah. The vest I had to cut. Because unfortunately there was no way of getting it um, unstrapped without cutting it. So that kind of sucks. So yeah, I, I mean, this is it. I mean, this is, there's not so much to him. There really isn't. 
you know, uh, it is what it is. What you see is what you get, which is right back on this. A lot of the stuff is packaged. If you're looking for the glasses, the shades are right here. Really nicely packaged. And yeah, they come in the little foot locker type deal. Container with his name on it. I guess that's a nice addition too. That's not too bad. Oh, and he, <laughs> he comes with his own figure. It's kind of like a fourth wall breaking type deal. Interesting. Very, very tiny. Nicely, uh, nicely packaged. That's the first. All right, guys. That was it for the review. Is this guy worth it? He may be on my top favorite figures of this year. Just because I was able to modify a few things, which is add on a few accessories. Now he looks really cool. And maybe a little bit intimidating. I don't know. Be the Sarge. Sorry, I had it backwards. <laughs> there you go, guys. Hope you liked the review. Subscribe, share with your friends. Take it easy. Adios.